Hi, and welcome to vblogs.com, home for all of your online video and article-based training in areas of application, desktop, and server virtualization. Okay, let's get started. What we're going to discuss today in this video is Citrix Zen Apps version 6 installation. And even more so, even uh, exactly what we're going to discuss, we're going to discuss product licensing. And this is part one of the series. So let's get started. Overview. What are we going to be discussing today? So we're going to start off with discussing licensing as a whole for your Citrix ZenApp environment. And that really starts with your Microsoft op uh, operating system licenses, evolves then to remote desktop services licensing, and finishes up with the actual licensing of your Citrix environment. Uh, more so, what we're going to be really discussing and focusing on in this video is the actual installation of remote desktop licensing services. So the Microsoft role of the licensing services and properly licensing your RDS uh, infrastructure, which uh, really sets up and, and prepares you for the Citrix licensing, which would be completed at that point in time. So best practices, where, uh, where are these services typically installed? Where are the remote desktop licensing services typically installed? Well, obviously you're gonna, you're gonna need a Server 2008 Microsoft uh, virtual machine. Uh, it could be physical too, but typically a, a virtual server. And either that's its own dedicated server that uh, is gonna provide the remote desktop licensing services or also typically seen or other best practice is to pair that with your Citrix licensing server. So those are two common instances and common locations of where RDS licensing services are held. At that point in time, not sure we can really get uh, completely get to this and go through this as a whole, but once uh, remote desktop licensing services is installed, you will then want to import your TSCALs your client access licenses to properly license remote desktop services and as I said that uh, there was be depicted in a different video uh, another part to this series is actually licensing your Citrix Zen app or Zen desktop um, environment so let's continue on as I said licensing with the within the Zen app environment is really is really modularized, broken out. It starts with properly licensing your operating system. So properly licensing your Server 2008 operating system. Um, this is the operating system of really any any of the servers within your Zen app infrastructure and suite, uh, depending on your levels of complexity, needed load balancing, high availability. This could be a number of servers. But obviously, each each server running Server 2008 within that environment needs to be properly licensed, uh, you know, obviously via Microsoft. And in parallel to that, you also need proper uh, maintenance and support for that base operating system. Once that is in place, really the level two or phase two of the licensing process is installing remote desktop services and making sure to properly license your remote desktop environment by importing the, the TSCALs, the client access licenses. Once that's in place, finally, uh, the last piece that you need to license is your actual Citrix environment. So setting up a Citrix license server, importing your license files and making sure that your Zen app or whatever Citrix product suite uh, you're gonna be using is properly licensed. With that, let's uh, let's go through the process of, of actually installing RDS licensing services. Uh, from here, as I said, typically uh, designated as a server for installing these services is uh, typically its own dedicated virtual machine, virtual server with Server 2008 installed on it. It's also common for these services to be paired with Citrix licensing server or licensing services and uh, just pairing those two services um, together. But the first question probably you're gonna wanna ask is, you know, ask within your environment, I don't know if you're, you may be a consultant, you may be the administrator of your environment, but finding out 
there may be a, you know remote desktop licensing already in place there may be a RDS licensing server for other remote desktop services in the environment in place you can also use that remote desktop licensing server for for this these purposes so installation go to you know you, you log obviously log on to the server that you've depicted for for RDS licensing services you would click on this start menu go to administrate administrative tools and then click on server manager at that point in time you'll see this screen is depicted here you can click on add roles click on uh, next at that point in time you will see the add roles wizard where you can click on next um, from there you can define remote desktop services as the role you want to be you want to add go ahead and click on next click on next again and this is important so at this point in time we just want to install the sub the component of remote desktop services that of remote desktop licensing so we don't want to install the whole suite we just want to define remote desktop licensing click on next and that will bring you to the configuration screen if you're not sure if you if you're not too diverse in the differences between a domain and a forest to play things safe you're going to want to select a forest if you are aware of these two options if you do know the difference between a domain and a forest the thing to think about here is uh, to to ask yourself <clears throat> is this licensing server in the, the same domain as your as the other citrix zen app servers and uh, microsoft remote desktop servers uh, for your ZenUp infrastructure setup, or do these servers and services reside within different domains underneath the same forest? So, if all the service services of your ZenApp environment are added to the so same domain, you can go ahead and click this domain. If this licensing server happens to be on a different domain within the same forest, as your ZenApp servers, as your core remote desktop servers, you're going to want to select the forest. So once you figure that out and uh, define the proper setting, go ahead and click on next. That will bring you to the confirmation screen. Make sure that you've, you've uh, set everything up properly and go ahead and install the remote desktop licensing services to this server 2008 machine. That will, should hopefully, if everything went properly, you should have an installation succeeded uh, message. Go ahead and, and close. And at that point in time, you, what's next? So what are the next steps? The next steps would be to actually uh, go into and configure and import your TSCALs. So make sure you properly license the RDS licensing uh, environment. And then at that point in time, you're going to be set up to actually set up your Citrix licensing server and properly li license the Citrix ZenApp environment as a whole. And we're not going to have time, unfortunately, to do that in this video, but uh, there will be a separate video for that setup, for the actual setup of the licensing Citrix licensing server and, and finishing up and finalizing the, your licensing environment. So with that, that's all we have time for in this video. Again, uh, thanks for visiting vblogs.com, home for all your online video and article-based training, specializing in application, desktop, and server virtualization. Thanks a lot and have a great day.